The very first edition of Lance's Video Journal hit the air here at 1011. And over the past 11 years, our Lance Schwartz has been busy sharing the intriguing stories of many notable Nebraskans. And this 600th edition of Lance's Journal celebrates the latest in a long line of captivating characters who Lance has highlighted over the years. Lance? I've been waiting a long time for this. I bet you have. It's finally here. <laughs> <laughs> Looking back, it is really kind of hard to wrap my head around the past 599 journals that I put together. But there is one thing that is very clear to me. I've been blessed to interview thousands and thousands of awesome Nebraskans. And speaking of awesome Nebraskans, the young lady you're about to meet could teach us all a thing or two about the power of positive thinking. I've been dancing since I was in kindergarten, so I've had a lot of dance experience. Sophie Tate was just five years old when Lynette Hoagland started teaching her how to dance. She was just amazing. She could skip before so many other kids could skip. Lynette says Sophie has always been a role model for her peers. She gives me goosebumps. I just tell her she's such a special young woman that God's placed on this earth. Sophie was placed on this earth in 1997, and two years later, Jill and Rick Tate of Columbus adopted this darling little girl from Bulgaria who was born without a right leg. It's been pretty great to have Sophie be a part of our family. She's always, always with a positive outlook and always a quirky view on <laughs> whatever's going down. Rick says there is nothing that slows his daughter down. Oh, she's definitely got a drive to succeed and, and uh, accomplish the things that she finds important in her life. Yeah, I try to do everything I can. In 2013, Sophie decided to take on yet another challenge. A few years ago, I watched a YouTube video of a cheerleader from the University of Arkansas who had one leg, and I thought she was awesome, so I thought I'd give it a go. The difference is, Patience Beard at Arkansas uses a prosthetic leg, whereas Sophie prefers to cheer and dance without the use of her prosthetic leg. It's really heavy. I think it's about 12, 13 pounds, so it's, it's a lot of weight on my hips, so I absolutely love cheerleading. Um, I made a lot of friends out of it, um, and... I did things that I didn't even know I could do, so it kind of pushed me to my limits. Since she came home, that's just always, she's always hot, she's always cold, she's never, it's never held her back from doing anything. You are as beautiful on the outside as you are on the inside, Aww. and she has got such a good heart for other people, and she's just amazing. Aww. This sensational 17-year-old enjoys sharing her optimistic attitude with the world. Stop thinking about what you don't have and just um, be thankful for what you do have and appreciate what you have and because it could be a whole lot worse. This past Saturday, this Columbus High School senior traveled down to Lincoln and tried out for the cheer squad at Nebraska Wesleyan University. And coming to as no surprise to anyone that's ever met her, Sophie made the team. Thank you, Sophie, for allowing me to share your story. And thanks to all of you, those loyal 1011 viewers who have been watching Lance's Journal since 2004. Man, I've met and I've heard from many of you over the years, and I really, really appreciate the support you've shown me 